You may remember this. This is a table for the song, uh, Singer Sewing Machine and Nighthawk's remembered that he's got some of the bench top material, this acacia, in his workshop somewhere that he's going to make me a table for it. I won't be using the machine on the stand but it'll look fantastic for display. Um, I have got the bent wood box lid for it which will keep it from getting quite so dusty. Let's go make something. There's an off cut. It's actually long enough because it's 2.1 meters and it is 300 wide and all I'm going to do this is a very very simple build all I'm going to do is simply cut it um, cut two parts off and then we're going to join them then we'll trim it so that it's the size that we're after and that's that's the end of my side of it so what do I want I want it to be 800 so I'm just going to mark it at 810 giving me a little bit of room for man manoeuvre so I'll go 815 a little bit of room for manoeuvre so when it means I, when I glue it up and if there's any movement I can trim each end off well that's the theory and somewhere 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 I've lost my eyes and ears Now I could have set up a stop block, but it's only two of them, so I'm not really worried about it. And they don't have to be exact because I'm going to be trimming them anyway, so. So the corner that the sewing machine is in, I've got a certain room to work with. Those boards that I just chopped are 300 wide, which makes it 600 once I glue them together. Now I want it down to four, whatever, uh, 440. So I've got to now trim them down to 220. It doesn't have to be exact because we're only going rough measurement lines if both are the same. So there you go, 220. One side's already finished, and here's my gluing side that's already been cut, so that's the side I'm going to recut. Really. Just a little bit of pressure there. And a little bit of pressure there. Not much, doesn't have to be much. Then use some packing tape. Means the glue will not. The glue won't. Won't bind to it. So these boards here are doing two things: keeping the, the glue up straight, and secondly, are stopping the marks from the clamps. Now I've got these two here going one way, so I'm going to do an opposite one here. Put another one just in there. 
we'll just clamp, clamp there as soon as I find some clamp that are actually strong enough. The thing is with clips, you've got some time. You've got a little bit of time to play with. Now I can start applying some pressure. I'm just going to put another one. glue off not not scraping to the wood. Now I might be able to match the colour. Because I've put some kind of there is a coating on this that I don't want to damage too much. And my Paul is not worried about it. I am. Uh oh! I didn't think that one through, did I? Am I going to get up and over there? Not very easily, by the looks of that. Can I do sideways and underarm and twisted and. That's what you want the video for. <laughs> I should actually get round to doing that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And remember to click the notification bell icon, that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. You can find us on most social media, including Google+, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter and Instagram. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon. See you next time. Don't forget to go and make something.